1965 Ford Mustang. Obviously, this is the coupe. Um, it is a factory A code, as they call it. So I'll show you here on this HPI, the VIN there. Fifth number, or fifth digit, sorry, denotes A, which means it's the 255 horsepower V8. Factory manual. Um, and it does have the, uh, the desirable pony interior, which we'll get to in a second. It was imported um, on behalf of the current owner uh, in August 2020. So it spent all of its life in the US up until two years ago. Fully UK registered, ready to go, logbook, all that kind of stuff. Um, it had some work done on it before it came to the UK, which again, we'll detail in the description, but uh, it had quite a lot of engine work, engine rebuild, things like that, brakes, new wheels and tires. Uh, and an interior retrim, if you like. Um, let's start with the bodywork. If we start on this front wing, obviously not the driver's side, it's the passenger side. If we look down this side, you will see it is nice and straight. That body line that goes all the way down is nice and crisp. It's got that little 289 badge on the front. Arch itself is lovely and sharp all the way around. There's no sign of any corrosion at all in that. The wheels are like brand new, these lovely chromed, wheels with four matching tires on it. Rest of the wing, lovely and tidy. You've got the chrome Mustang badge and the pony badge there as well. All lovely and clean and tidy. Going along that sill on this side. That's all nice along there. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything. It's not been jacked up wrong or anything like that. If we have a look underneath, you can see floor pan. Again, nice and clean and tidy. There is a little chip in the paint just there. It's been touched in. Uh, underneath the driver's door, but you do have to get very close to see it. Driver's door itself is nice and clean and tidy. Well, the chrome works good. These have recently been replaced, so they're like brand new. And then obviously you've got that lovely pillarless profile as well, which is really nice. One thing this car wants more than anything is a proper machine polish. I don't mean your Sunday afternoon hand polish. If you look in a couple of spots, I'll point them out now. So there's a little bit here. Uh, and then if you come around the back, if you look at this panel here, it look, looks a little bit milky. It wants a proper cut and machine polish. A good detail, detailer will be able to do that for you. For a few hundred quid, the difference will be phenomenal. See, there's a little bit of sort of fading and the lacquer coming down there. The polish will get rid of the majority of that. It'll make it a, a, you know, a, much, a much better job. It does sometimes happen with these American paint jobs. They put all the right amount of paint on, all that sort of stuff. They just don't seem to finish the polish properly. Um, and then again, along here, you can sort of feel Paint's a bit dry, so that polish will sort that out. It has got a tiny little crack in the lacquer just there, which you can just see if you get right on top of it. All the chrome around the window and in that gutter is all nice and clean and tidy. Seam down the bottom here and around the screen is all good. Round up the back, all the chrome work is nice and clean. And it has the UK lights, so normally on an American spec, you'd have all three red and their indicator or blinker, as they would call it. The whole thing flashes, whereas for the UK, obviously, we've got to have ambers. Um, so it's been converted correctly. That lower valance is all nice and straight and tidy as well. Boot lid itself, again, like I say, good polish would make a huge difference, but it is nice and shiny. The colour is gorgeous if you get close on it. It's a really lovely colour. And then these sort of bumper corners, they all sit nice and straight and everything. Then coming up this driver's side, you can see it is straight going all the way up. It's not full of filler. There is a little bit of a sort of reaction in the paint there. You can see a couple of bits there, and a couple just there that do want a little bit of attention. And again, the arch is all the way around. Lovely and sharp. All four wheels and tires are really, really good. Have a look at the sill from this side, which again, nice and tidy. And then underneath, same story as the other side, all nice and clean. Exactly as you expect for a car that spent its time in a hot climate. Driver's door, nice and tidy as well. Got a little mark in the lacquer just here where it's been touched in, I think, at some point. And then this front wing, front arch, again, lovely and sharp all the way around. Coming around on the front, chrome bumper on the front is just as good as the back. As you can see, all the headlights are nice and clear. Chrome on the grille is good, and that lower valance, really nice and tidy. Bonnet itself is nice and straight, it's not covered in any ripples or dents. And there is a little mark, again, same as before. It's just in the lacquer, just a little bit there, the one sort of cutting out and, and, and polishing back. And that scuttle along and under the screen, all nice and tidy as well. Moving on to the interior. So like I mentioned, it's got that lovely pony interior that everyone wants to see. 
Nice clean door card there. The seats were done just before the car left the States and they are really, really good. They're lovely. Back bench doesn't look like it's ever been used at all. Carpet sets lovely and clean all the way around. Got this lovely wood rim steering wheel, which is very tidy as well. There's no sign of any real wear at all on that. All the dials are nice and clear. 63,000 miles on the clock. All the chrome work along the there, the top of the dash is lovely. All the carpet around the shifter and everything, that's all really good. Again, manual car. So super desirable being a manual. And a nice, clean, tidy headlining. Coming around the passenger side. Again, it's just had these new sill plates put on, which are nice and clean, obviously. Good door card. Door shuts are all nice and tidy. Out, uh, outer edge of the doors are good. Like I say, those back benches are like brand new. The backs of the seats are really good. Front passenger seat, again, immaculate. All the chrome work and stuff on this piece here is lovely. It's all nice and tidy. It's obviously been well cared for. We'll have a look in the boot. Obviously opens on the key. Nice and easy. There is two uh, brand new tyres in there to go with the car. We'll lift out so we can have a proper look at what's going on. There is also a box of sort of, or a bucket of spare bits and bobs in there as well. Fuses, things like that. Uh, it has had this new boot carpet in as well, which is lovely with the Mustang logo on it. So you can see all the inner wings and bulkhead and everything. Lovely and clean. If we lift that up, you can see underneath there, Again, apart from there's a little chip out of the cardboard section here, which you can see. Lovely and tidy in there. Again, it's come from a nice dry state from what I understand, but we'll detail in the description where we know it's come from. Um, so it's always a good sign. Like I say, no sign of any corrosion coming through at all. If I can find the correct keys, we'll, uh, we'll get it started up. So obviously, like I say, 289 A code. So that's the 255 horse V8, four speed on the floor, manual. Um, and when it was in the States, it did have a, a an engine rebuild before it came over here. And again, it does have these additional aftermarket gauges there. So we can see a few extra bits and bobs for oil pressure straight up. This cold, so I'm not going to rev it too hard. We'll uh, pull the bonnet and have a look under there. If I can do it in the right place. Or you have to excuse some dodgy camera work for a second. There we go. So again, we'll give it a little rev so we can hear it from the back as well, because it does sound very, very good, this car. And again, it's got Urson uh, rocker covers on it. Obviously the engine block all painted the correct colours. It's had the chrome alternator, recent radiator, some extra chrome bits, uh, and an Edelbrock air cleaner on there as well. But as you can hear, as smooth as you're going to get from a, uh, a big old 60s Ford V8. It's a lovely noise. I've even turned the indicator on. We'll knock that off. So, come from a really cherished home. Guy's actually bought a new shaped Mustang because he can't use a clutch anymore. Um, but yeah, it's spent most of its life in the US. It's come back two years ago, or come here two years ago. Very pretty car. Any more questions, any more inquiries, if you want to know anything else specific, let us know. We're open for viewing, so you can come and have a look anytime you want. Or of course, we can do video calls, send you extra photos or videos, whatever you might need. Please just let us know. Thank you.